Am I doing a video about something good that Twitch is doing? <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> all, all jokes aside though, I'm, I'm excited to make this video. This is long overdue. Twitch needs some praise for something and, and I'm pumped about this. Like I love when platforms make life better for their creators and Twitch is doing something awesome in an area that their creators have been like angry about for a while. Twitch has started beta testing a new tool that actually makes streams discoverable. Let me show you. I got a crazy goal for this video. I'm trying to keep the entire thing under five minutes, including the sponsored segment from Elgato. One of the biggest gear questions I get during my content, whether it's during a live stream or during a full video, is what mic arm am I using? And I'm almost exclusively using one of two mic arms, either the Elgato mic arm or the Elgato mic arm LP, which I'm pretty sure stands for low profile. Let me show you why they are both my favorites. The regular arm has everything you need. It has clean cable channels, an extender to get you over the tall monitors, the perfect amount of springiness that can even handle heavy microphones, or if you're using a lightweight microphone, it comes with a counterweight. It's a nice touch. And then the LP model is my personal favorite. It gets your mic right in front of you without the arm getting all up in front of your face. It's got all these magnetic covers to hide all your cables and both of them come with a ball head right at the front to connect your microphone. Look guys, they're mic arms. They're not supposed to completely change your content. They're just supposed to be tools that accomplish a task and they accomplish it very, very well. So if you want a nice clean mic arm, I'm gonna put them in the description down below. Pick up an Elgato mic arm today. Let's talk about Twitch. Twitch is finally taking a stab at fixing one of their biggest problems, and that is discoverability and browsability. It's like the same, basically the same thing. Two sides of the same coin. It's not fun to try to find new Twitch streamers. Seriously, the other day I spent five minutes trying to find someone new to watch on Twitch. And in that five minutes, I watched three and a half minutes of pre-roll ads. <laughs> And then I just gave up and left. But Twitch is making, or at least testing, a brand new way of how we browse live streams. And by the way, this is still in like super limited beta. Very few people have access to it. So huge shout out to Loco for pointing this out and posting this on Twitter. If you're not familiar with Loco, you should absolutely give her a follow. I'll link to her down below. She's the CEO of Streamer Square, which is a huge resource for streamers. I'll also link to their newsletter where you can sign up for streamer news, tips, and even opportunities. So if you like this content, you're gonna love their content, go follow them now. But let's take a look. This is the current browse page. It shows you a list of the streamers. You have to click in and fully load a new page and then you usually have to watch a 30 second pre-roll ad before you can actually see if they're streaming something that you wanna watch. This is the new page, which looks similar at first. It's still got a list of streamers, either from viewer, higher to low, or recommended for you. You can change that yourself. But as you click on a stream, it loads right at the very top no loading into a new page, and more importantly, no ads. And that's not a bug. We actually got confirmation from Twitch staff that there will be no ads on this page. So now you can click around and preview a bunch of streams till you find the one you want to fully commit to and watch, and then you can click through to fully go into their stream, which you do have to do because this ad-free preview only lasts 60 seconds. This is a huge step forward for Twitch. I'm super pumped about it, and actually this is a really super creative solution. Good on you, Twitch. I would love to see something simple and clean like this added to the Clips browser as well. So anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Are you excited about it? Do you have things you'd add or take away or change to it? Or if you don't have any thoughts, just leave an emoji, your favorite emoji in the comment down below to help add some engagement to this video. Thank you. Also hit the like button while you're down there. You watched the whole video, you might as well hit the like button. And as always, happy streaming.